Welcome to this installment in the Excite Pro tutorial series. One reason that so many would-be internet entrepreneurs and content creators have resisted creating their own websites in the past is that offering a decent amount of website functionality used to require a lot of programming expertise. With Excite Pro, this restriction has fallen by the wayside. Using widgets, it's now possible to load your site with all sorts of advanced capability and without a lick of programming experience. Excite Pro offers about two dozen such widgets. In this tutorial, we'll do a quick flyby of all of them and, of course, show you how to add one. The properties you'll need to adjust vary for each individual widget, and while it's beyond the scope of this short tutorial to give you the juicy details on all of them, you'll find that the process for each is actually quite easy. So to get started, simply right-click anywhere in the designer and choose Widget Wizard. Or just click its toolbar button. So, let's quickly explore each of these widgets, which are divided by category. Here in Images, we have a banner rotator, which lets you set up several banner images, one of which will display at random upon page load. The Image Gallery provides a basic thumbnail-based image browser for your photos. Image Rollover swaps out the image for another one whenever the user's mouse rolls over it. And Thumbnail automatically creates a thumbnail image from a larger photo, and will even let you assign a link to it. Here in Miscellaneous, you can use the Email Cloaker to disguise your email address display on your pages so that the spam bots can't capture it. Jumping Text shows an eye-catching jump effect for any text string, Password Redirect will let you set up basic, lightly encrypted password protection for one of your pages. And Random Quote lets you set up a database of quotable quotes, one of which will display at random as the page is loaded. The Pop-Ups category has two options. Open Page in New Window will let you link to one of your pages or an external page as a pop-up even letting you set its dimensions as well as choose if you want to display things like scroll bars and the menu. And Sticky Note can display any text string as a specially formatted pop-up that looks like a post-it note. Status and title affect what's happening in the status bar of your user's browser. Rather than displaying a URL, the status link widget will display any text message you want. But why be boring about it? You can animate your status message with status scroller and status slide-in. And, if your web page has a really long title that doesn't seem to fit on a tab, the title scroller widget can help with that. Text click events let you add special functionality to certain links, such as adding a page to user's favorites, closing the page, or printing it. Widgets also offer dynamic ways of showing text information, like a collapsible frequently asked questions list. The News Scroller can animate your various news bites so that they're only visible one at a time. Lastly, you have all kinds of widgets for displaying time information, such as a countdown to a particular event, displaying the date a particular number of days into the future, the last date in which a visitor passed by the site or welcome message if it's the user's first time there, a dynamically generated time of day text string, and of course, today's date. Now that you have the lowdown on all the widgets, let's actually add one. I'm going to add a banner rotator. Just click on Edit Settings, and I can start adding banners. Note that I have this box checked to automatically resize my images to the standard 468 by 60 banner size, and for best results, your images should probably start out that way. So I clicked on Add New Banner, and here I can navigate to my first banner. I have a collection of Excite Pro banners I'm going to be using, and I'll be adding a URL for each banner's link. If you happen to be a member of an affiliate program, you can use one of the affiliate links you already set up here in Excite Pro. Please see the affiliate links tutorial for more information on this. But I have a different goal in mind. I want to test the effectiveness of each to see which one gets the most clicks, so I'll be using separate URLs for each of these. Like so. Once I have all my banners added, I just click Insert Widget. And there it is. Now, when I load up the page, it randomly displays one of them. 
Later, I can use a web analytics tool like Google Analytics to help me determine which ad got the most clicks, and even which one led to more sales. As I mentioned, every single widget has its own distinct settings. So please, click the Help button and navigate to your particular widget if you get stuck. Using Excite Pro widgets, you have amazing functionality for your sites with no engineering degree.